right, Rich Van Tassel here again with another Flash News Alert, uh, the second one for Monday, January 18th. Uh, we saw um, a little before that there's been some accusations of match-fixing in professional tennis. Now, I really wasn't considering anything to do with it before, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized I had to do a video on it. Um, when you think about fixing sports, certainly I am under the assumption it happens a lot. I mean, we did report when it was the national championship game for college football that the game may have been fixed for Alabama the way we saw the clock go. Now, Alabama did not cover the spread, but they were covering the spread until Clemson scored that touchdown with about 11 seconds left. So, remember, you can fix games, or attempt to fix games at least, and still come up short because the other team is not in on the fix. So just because another team doesn't cover doesn't mean that the fix was not in. And thinking about tennis, tennis is a sport where it would seem it's very easy to do so. Um, you have an individual playing another individual, and certainly just a couple mistakes here or there. You know, a double fault, taking chances, um, maybe faking an injury or anything to end the match, or uh, any anything, because you're not relying on other team members, where it would be a sport like basketball or football, where you have referees and you have other players on the field. Uh, you can't fix, um, you know, 30 guys. When we're talking about a football game, you know, you can try to have the referees fix a game, yes, but you can't have one individual on a team. You can pay them off to try to fix it, but you can't try to pay off, you know, the entire starting offense or the entire starting defense to try to fix it. Yes, is one guy capable of potentially fixing the game? He is, but it's still much more difficult to do so. Same thing with basketball. I mean, basketball is probably a little easier with football, but you don't have all five guys on one team and on the fix. I mean, I guess it's possible they did with the, uh, what was that, the 1919 Chicago White Sox. They claimed that they had all nine guys fixing the game, but baseball is another different story, and that was damn near 100 years ago. But it's certainly very interesting and something that uh, needs to be looked at because, as we said, an individual sport like tennis, the potential for fixing is certainly there. And Novak Djokovic admitted that someone offered him $200,000 to fix a game. And that doesn't even seem like that much money, considering these guys would probably get more if they just won. So and Novak Djokovic is the favorite in most matches. Now, granted, he said this was back in 2007. I can't remember uh, how high up the rankings Novak Djokovic was then. So we wanted to do that, give our opinion of it. Of course, the Australian Open starts tonight. Uh, I do like watching tennis. Um, we'll try to give you some breakdowns of it. I'm not really good at uh, necessarily um, giving you the ins and outs, the inside baseball or inside tennis in this, uh, so to speak, and as far as color commentary or anything. But I do like tennis. I do I do enjoy watching it. So anything that comes across will keep you updated with the Australian Open. Um, you know, it always starts pretty late because of the time zone difference, and Australia is certainly a place I'd like to go. I wouldn't mind being in Melbourne right now, to be honest with you, instead of here in cold New Jersey, but... It is what it is, so uh, any Flash News alerts again, we'll keep them coming, but thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your week.